Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet these super easy and fabulous winter's night mittens. This is a really easy mitten pattern, and actually it was inspired from the Chunky Mitts for Everyone pattern that I published last year. Uh, those were some uh, similar stitched mitts, uh, and a lot of you requested uh, that I make a mitten pattern that was similar. So this is in response to that. So thanks for your requests, by the way. I do appreciate those. I've also added a nice little button accent, and to store your mittens so they don't come apart, you can actually take the button and pop it into the inside of the other mitten, and they'll stay together. So just as a side note, the the button is mostly decorative, but it's also functional too. I've used a lovely Tweety yarn in some shades of winter, really beautiful texture, but it's so much fun to go out there and see either what's in your stash or at the yarn uh, store right now. There's so much bulky yarn in a rainbow of colors and textures. Some of them have metallics, uh, variegated shades, self-striping, what have you, and the same can be said for uh, the buttons too. There's just as many types of buttons as there are yarn colors. The finished mittens are sized to fit an adult woman. However, the pattern I mentioned before, the chunky mitts for everyone, came in kid sizing and male sizing as well, adult male sizing. So if you are interested in uh, seeing this mitten in different sizing, please let me know in the comments if you want to see it for kids or men as well. But this one is sized for an adult woman. Now, the width of these across here is about four inches and the height from bottom of the cuff here to the top of the fingers is about 10 inches, just to give you an idea. They are made with super bulky yarn. They're very, very chunky, so the sizing is pretty forgiving as well. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a nine millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, a ruler or tape measure is helpful, and your yarn. I'm gonna be using one ball of Lion Brand's Wool Ease Thick and Quick, and as a side note, this is the abalone colorway, in case you're wondering. It's kind of like a wintry palette, sort of tweedy looking. Okay, so I went ahead and made one mitten, and we're gonna make the second mitten together. Now, as a side note too, I didn't mention this when we talked about supplies, but you can also add a cute little decorative button. I have some coconut wood buttons. It's uh, like recycled coconut shells. And you can kind of put one down at the bottom there and, and it kind of adds a nice little finishing touch. And I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. So let's get started with our other mitten to make a set. And we'll kind of keep this one over here as a reference as we go. So what we want to do is grab our hook and our yarn and we're going to start by putting a slip knot on our hook. So wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop Reach in with your hook, bring up a loop, and tighten. Next, we're going to chain 16. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. The next thing we're going to do is join to make a loop. So we're going to be working our mitten from the bottom and working our, our way up. So we're making the opening in which you stick your hand into to put the mitten on. So go down to the chain farthest from your hook all the way at the end here. Insert the hook into that chain farthest from the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through, and you'll have two loops on your hook. Now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, and now we have our opening. This end here, we will just worry about when we're finished our mitten. Okay, so let's begin the first round of our mitten. And what we're gonna do is we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to be using the half double crochet stitch for the entire mitten, and that's an easy stitch if you've never done that before. So locate that first chain of your loop you just created, and wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into that first chain you come to, bring up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook, now wrap yarn around hook and bring it through all three loops. This is kind of 
height wise in between a single crochet and a double crochet. I also have an entire separate video on the half double crochet stitch. So we'll, um, you know, if you need to practice and master the stitch first. So then you're going to put a half double crochet into the next chain and in every chain all the way around your mitten. And I have to say as a side note that this first mitten that I made didn't take long at all. I made it very, very quickly. So these, if you want to make some really sweet little gift mittens for people, this is a wonderful little project and very obviously very useful project as well. And we're using some super easy stitches and very chunky yarn. So you can whip up a couple pairs of these for your holiday gifts or just little gifts to tuck away, perhaps as a thinking of you gift or someone who has a winter birthday would be really nice to give those folks a pair of mittens. Okay, so we're just working our half double crochets all the way around. Okay, let's get a little bit more yarn. And this yarn is such a pretty blend of winter colors. It kind of has like a pebbled look. Okay, here's our last chain. Now what we want to do is remember that chain two that we did at the beginning of the round? That topmost chain, we want to join with a slip stitch to close the round. So insert the hook into that topmost chain, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook to close the round. So you can see the very beginnings of our mitten has begun. So let's move on to round two. Now round two is the round we're going to be repeating until we get to where we want to work the thumb part of our mitten. Okay, so once again, chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, so locate that first stitch you come to and work a half double crochet Work a half double crochet in the next stitch and in every stitch all the way around our mitten. So just keep going around and around, working those half double crochets. I really like this stitch because it's not quite as stiff as the single crochet, but it does give you enough uh, tightness and bulk of your fabric, your crocheted fabric that you're creating to keep that chill out. So it's a nice stitch for some really simple mittens. Okay, I'm just continuing around with my half double crochets. And you can see already, because we're using a very chunky yarn, we're getting a little bit of height to our mitten already. Again, this is a really simple project to whip up for gifts, okay? So, Locate that topmost chain of your chain that you began the round with, insert it into that chain, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, okay? So you can see our mitten is getting a little bit taller. So then what we're gonna do for round three, four, five, six, seven, we're going to repeat the same round. So three through seven, we're going to repeat. So I'm gonna go ahead and work three, four, five, six, seven, the way I just worked it. Now, if you need to see this again, simply back up the video and you can you know, watch it as many times as you need to. But for rounds three through seven, we're going to be repeating the same stitch and the same round that we just did. And then when you get to round eight, we're gonna rejoin, before you start round eight, we'll rejoin and I'm gonna show you how to start to make this thumb area. We're gonna create an opening and then later crochet the thumb onto the mitten, okay? So stay tuned, we're gonna work three, four, five, six, and seven, the same way we've been doing, and then we'll rejoin and I'm gonna show you how to get started on this thumb area. Okay, I'm just working that last half double crochet and then we're gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round into that topmost chain. Same thing we've been doing. So remember I said to work up to round seven. So I just completed round seven and now we're ready to move on to round eight. Now if we look at our other mitten, 
you can see we're up to the thumb. So we're gonna work on the thumb opening. Uh, two rounds we'll need to create that opening. So for round eight, what we're gonna do is chain two. One, two, work a half double crochet into that first stitch that you come to, work a half double crochet into the next stitch that you come to, and then what we're gonna do is chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna skip three stitches, so skip these next three stitches, one, two, three, and in that next stitch after that, work a half double crochet, and work a half double crochet in each stitch till you get to the end of the round, okay? Okay, I'm just working half double crochets all the way around. And I have to add, I've probably said this already, but these mittens are so fast to work up. You can make a couple for lots of people on your list. And you can have a lot of fun. There's so many beautiful colors of super bulky yarn out there. All right, so we're at the last stitch of the round. And I'm just going to join in that, remember that topmost chain with a slip stitch to close the round. Now let's look at what we just did. If we come around, we've created our thumb opening, okay? So you can even just kind of slip your mitten on to see how that looks, okay? It looks very much like the fingerless mitts uh, that were inspired, or that I, these are inspired from that pattern rather. Okay, so let's work the next round. So round nine, we're gonna chain two, Work a half double crochet into that first stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, and now we are at the thumb opening again. So we're going to do that a little bit differently. So we're going to work into the space this time. So work three half double crochets into that thumb opening space, that chain three space that we created in the previous round. Okay, right into that space. See, just like that. One, two, three half double crochets. Now we're going to work a half double crochet in the first stitch that we come to and all the way around. So we're sort of reinforcing and building upon the thumb opening that we created. Okay, so just work half double crochets in each stitch all the way around to complete the round. Whoops, my yarn split. Let's try that one one more time. There we go. And that last stitch, same thing, half double crochet, work into the topmost chain, join with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay, so we can see if we swing it back here we're starting to kind of reinforce uh, that opening. So you can, I like to try mittens on lots of times when I do this, okay? So it's, it looks very much like my women's fingerless mitts. Um, and again, I'll put the link down below too if you're interested in that pattern. I have a men's size and a kid's size for that pattern. If you'd like to see these mittens in a man's size or kid's size as well, instead of just the women's size, let me know in the comments. And I'll, um, you know, if, if lots of you want to see that, I can do that as well. Okay, so then what we're going to do is for round 10, we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so now we've kind of departed from the thumb part of our mitten, and we're starting to work, if we lay these on top of one another, we're starting to work upward into this top hand or fingers area. Okay. So we're just working half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. And if you've been making your mitten along with me, you'll notice how fast these work up. I know I keep saying that, but it is amazing how quickly you can make a pair of mittens with some chunky yarn and a large hook. And this time of year, I really, really love quick projects. You could even lay these on top of a gift to make the most amazing gift topper ever, <laughs> instead of just a, 
a little tag. You could even embroider someone's name into them. That would be lovely. Okay, so I'm just coming around. Here's my last stitch of the round, and we're just gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? So round 10 is complete. And moving right along, we're gonna move on to round 11. Okay, so just work a half double crochet in the first stitch. We're basically just repeating what we just did for round 10. Just a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, we're at the end of the round. Join in that, again, that topmost chain to close the round with a slip stitch. Okay, and our mitten is getting quite tall at this point. Okay, so for round 12, we're gonna chain two and we're gonna do the same thing. This is the last round that we'll be making like this. Then we're gonna start uh, working the top of our mitten and tapering the top to create that rounded mitten shape. Okay, I'm just working my way around. Grab some more yarn there. And we're coming up to the end of the round in just a minute. Okay, so here we are, that last stitch, and then just locate the topmost chain. Whoops, one more stitch. Locate that topmost chain and join with a slip stitch to close. Okay, and you can straighten things out a bit if you like. Okay, so now we've worked our mitten all the way up. Now we can grab our other mitten, and now we're ready to work this rounded top. We're going to do this with uh, two more rounds and then we can close our mitten. Okay, so for round 13, what we're gonna do is chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work the half double crochet two together. And that is, uh, it sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's just, we're just combining two half double crochets into one, okay? So what you're gonna do is wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into that first stitch, Yarn around hook, bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the next stitch, bring up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. See that? Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all five loops. It's a little bit bulky, but it works, okay? So we're just gonna do this all the way around. So let's do this, we'll do the whole round together. So. If you notice here, we just turn these two stitches into one stitch, okay? So we're just gonna do this all the way around and that will bring our mitten together and start to create a tapered top. So yarn around hook, insert the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn around hook, insert into the next stitch, bring up a loop, five loops on the hook, yarn around hook, bring it through all five loops, just like that. Okay, next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn around hook, insert in the next stitch, bring up a loop, five loops on the hook, yarn around hook, bring through all five loops. You can already see our mitten is curving inward. Let's get a little bit more yarn. Okay, let's uh, decrease the next two. Yarn around hook, insert into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook. Yarn around hook, insert into the next stitch, bring up a loop, five loops on the hook. Yarn around hook, bring it through all five loops. Keep going into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook. Whoops, I just made a regular half double crochet. Let me back up. All right, let's try that again. 
yarn around hook, insert in the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops are on the hook, yarn around hook, insert into the next stitch, bring up a loop, five loops are on the hook, yarn around hook, bring through all five loops just like that, next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops, next stitch, bring up a loop, five loops, bring through all five loops. And we are almost at the end of our round. Yarn around hook, insert in the next stitch, three loops are on the hook. Yarn around hook, insert in the next stitch, five loops are on the hook, bring through all five loops. Get a little bit more yarn. Okay, we just have two stitches left, so that's perfect. We can decrease those last two stitches. Yarn around hook, insert in that second to last stitch, three loops are on the hook. Yarn around the hook, insert it into the next stitch, bring up a loop. We have five loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook, bring it through all five loops. And then we're at our starting chain from the previous round. Join with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay, let's look at our handiwork. You can see already our mitten has a nice curvy shape that's happening. Now, if we slip our hand in there, we still have fingers sticking out of the top. So we need to take it one more round. If you don't have fingers sticking out, then you can stop at this round if you like. Okay, we're simply going to, for the very last round of our mitten, the main part of our mitten, not the thumb yet, but the main part of our mitten, this is the very last round. So chain two, one, two. Now we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna half double crochet two together all the way around. Insert into the first stitch, bring up a loop, three loops are on the hook. Insert it into the next stitch, bring up a loop, five loops. Yarn around the hook, bring through all five loops. Okay, we're turning. It's gonna get a little bit snug here at the top, but it'll work out, I promise. Okay, three loops are on the hook. Five loops are on the hook. Bring through all five loops. Three loops are on the hook. Five loops are on the hook. Bring through all five loops. Okay, it's getting very snug, but that's what we want because we want that nice taper at the top of our mitten. Whoops, let me back up. Let me back up, okay. There we go. Yarn around the hook. Three loops are on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Five loops are on the hook. Bring through all five loops and then locate, we're at the end, so locate that, that turning chain, insert the hook into that topmost turning chain, bring that loop through, bring that loop through, and we are done. You're just joined with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay, now you can straighten things out a bit. And our mitten main area is finished, so just go ahead and cut the yarn and we're going to fasten off. We're gonna take care of all these ends later, but let's just take a quick peek at our mitten. I'm gonna shape it up a little bit. It's a very nice shape like our other mitten, okay? So we have a nice rounded top to our mitten, and let me just put the other one on, and it matches, almost matches. We're just missing the thumb, okay? So let's get started on the thumb next. Okay, so we have just a little bit of yarn left, which will be plenty for our thumb. Okay, so let's find the end here. And now here's our thumb opening. So what we're gonna be doing is crocheting half double crochets all the way around for a total of nine stitches, okay? So any of these stitches you can insert your hook into bring the yarn through and just tie it right on. Okay, so we're just gonna tie it into any of the stitches. Okay, so we can tuck that tail in so it won't be in our way. All right, so reinsert your hook back into that same stitch where you tied the yarn, bring up a loop and chain two. One, two, okay? Now we're just gonna work nine half double crochets all the way around the thumb hole. Now we're gonna have it sometimes we'll have stitches but other times like when we work the top part of this opening 
you're going to be working into the bottoms of things, and I'll show you how to deal with that. Okay, so just make sure you have nine stitches. So one half double crochet, just make sure they're evenly spaced. Two, three, four, five. Now we're running out of stitches, so we're going to work into the side of this one post. That was five. And now we're upside down, sort of. So we're going to work just in the spaces here. Like, see how that was one of our half double crochets? Just start working in between them, and you'll be fine. So this is number six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Okay, so now we're back where we started. Just make sure they're evenly spaced. That's the most important thing. Okay, so remember that chain at the beginning of our round? Just join with a slip stitch into that chain to close the round, okay? So now you can see we have the beginnings of a thumb, okay? So for the second round of our thumb, we're gonna chain two, one, two, and we're gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch, okay? So one, two, just work all the way around. That was seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so we can see now. Okay, now join with a slip stitch at that topmost chain to close the round. We're basically making a miniature mitten out of the side here, okay? All right, and if you need to straighten things out a bit, that's perfectly fine too, okay? Next, we're going to work the last round of our thumb. So, once again, if you want to slip your mitten on and try it, you can see we still have our thumb. I'm sorry, this isn't the last round. We're gonna do two more. Okay, so chain two and do the same thing. Just work a half double crochet. This is the last round before we taper. Half double crochet in each stitch, okay? And these thumbs are pretty generously sized. Whoops, I don't know why I keep dropping that stitch. These thumbs are pr pretty generously sized, but I like to have a little bit of room in the mitten. I don't want it to be super tight. And it's also pretty chunky yarn as well. Okay, so we're just coming around. And you want to join, now we just have a little bit of yarn, join with a slip stitch to close once again. And you can see it's looking just like a mitten. Okay, last round of the entire mitten. Chain two, and then we're going to decrease. Same thing we've been doing. And it won't be much decreasing for this round just because there's not a lot of stitches that we're working with here. And we're just about out of yarn. I mean like, we are down to the wire. <laughs> okay, and because we had an odd number of stitches, you'll just put that last half double crochet. In there, and then we have just a snippet here to join. Now, because we 
I mean, I literally used every last bit of yarn here. You know, you may want to have, especially if you did a different number of chains, you may want to have a backup ball of yarn if you like, or you could do your thumbs in a different color. Okay, so there's our thumb, it's complete. And let's try it on. It looks great, it looks just like our other mitten, which is super important. You don't want your mittens to look different when you make a pair of something. So our mittens are complete. Now, I did mention that we have some very pretty buttons here and we are going to sew them on. Now, I ran out, this was the last bit of yarn, but when we weave in our ends, we'll have plenty of yarn to sew those on. And you know, it's an option if you decide you don't want to do buttons. So what we wanna do is, now you may have a little bit of an opening at the top here and here. So to do your ends, let's turn our mitten inside out. So just grab the fingertip and the top of the mitten tip and we're going to turn our mitten inside out. Now I have the tail still on the other side so I'm just going to push that through. Okay so now our mitten's inside out and as a side note the inside of this has a really nice texture if you like the inside out look better. Okay so go ahead and thread your tapestry needle and you're just gonna stay along the insides of these stitches so you can't see it when you flip it back around. So go in one direction, come back in the other direction, and I wouldn't go crazy weaving this end in because we wanna save this tail. This tail is a precious commodity now because we've used every last bit of yarn for this mitten. So we made a big chunky pair of mittens with just one ball of yarn. So that's very exciting. Now, as a side note, the wool ease thick and quick, uh, the yardage will be different for the solids. So you might get a little bit more yarn if you're making a solid pair. You might be able to make your cuff a little bit taller or, you know, just have a little bit more wiggle room. Okay, so we'll use these two tails to sew our buttons. And I just have one more tail here and then we can flip our mitten back out. But I really do love the texture of this uh, reverse half double crochet, I guess you could call it. Okay, so let's take our mitten and pop it back out. I'm just gonna turn things right side out here. And whoops, we have a little tail here. Let's put him back in there. I guess I, when I wove it in, it popped back on the other side. Okay. Okay, this end is gonna be a troublemaker. Okay, so I'm just gonna weave that last end in. Somehow it popped back out. That happened. I know lots of you ask me about ends popping out. Okay, so we have our two little tails and it is gonna be plenty to sew our buttons on. Now, as our mittens, they look great. Okay, so if you'd like to do the button detail. Now see how our mittens, I have them laid down like a mirror in an image, just like your hands would be, okay? So if you're wearing your mittens like this, you'll wanna put your buttons accordingly, okay? So lay your mittens out and lay your buttons the way. Now again, this is a total optional thing. Now our tapestry needle that we've been using is way too big for these buttonholes. So I went ahead and grabbed a thinner tapestry needle. And again, at the same time, this yarn is way too chunky. So what we wanna do is the wool ease thick and quick is plied. So it has two plies twisted together so I'm just pulling these plies apart because it's gonna give me a little bit of a thinner strand. And if you can get you know, the whole thing through, that's totally fine, but I'm gonna pull mine apart a little bit. Okay, so give it a nice twist. Thread your tapestry needle. And then you're ready to sew. So take your 
button wherever you would like it to go and cup come up under the bitten. Don't pull it all the way through. Keep a little bit in reserve there. Come back down. Just like that. And then just do that a couple of times. That way the button won't fall off. Now if you're making these for a younger person, you'll want to make sure these buttons are really on there secure. If they're traveling to school or, you know, somewhere else outdoors in the snow or to uh, ski slopes or what have you, you know, snowball fights, just make sure that those things, those components are nice and secure. Okay, so I just have this tiny little strand. It's a very, very fluffy. I think I can just trim it flush and it'll blend. See that? It's gone. Okay, so... Let's see how it looks, where if it's hitting the right spot. And it's great, I love it. Okay, so we just wanna repeat for the other side. And I already have this ply cut. You might wanna give it a fresh cut if needed. And then you can just sew the other button on. And they look fantastic. They're really, really cute. Very wintry and rustic looking. Tweedy and chunky, love it. It's like my favorite thing in the winter is super bulky yarn. All right, we're just getting that last button stitched on there. And again, these make awesome gifts. You can really get creative with the type of yarn you're using and get creative with the button as well. There's so many button choices. And this time of year, there's a lot of super bulky yarn um, hanging out at the craft store. And if you want to do something really luxurious, you could go high end and do like a cashmere or, you know, something fancier. Okay, so I'm just trimming that flush, trying not to trim my finger at the same time. It's happened though, I have to say. And our mittens are complete. So let's just pop them on. They look amazing. So those are the Winter's Night Mittens. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again. Bye -bye.